is the solution set of the following equation. Before solving this question, let's start with some basics. As we already know, if we have b to the power of x, which equals b to the power of 3, since b equals b, that means that the two powers are equal. So we will say that x equals 3. This is the key point for solving our question. In this question, we have 4 to the power of x squared plus 4x, which equals to 2 to the power of negative 6. In order to apply our previous rule, we must make 4 equals to 2. So we will write 4 as 2 squared. So our equation will be written as 2 to the power of 2 times the term of x squared plus 4x which equals to 2 to the power of negative 6. Now, since 2 equals to 2, that means that the powers are equal. So 2 times the term of x squared plus 4x equals to negative 6. To make the equation more simple, we will divide both sides by 2. We will cancel 2 with 2 and what will remain for us is x squared plus 4x and negative 6 divided by 2 we will get negative 3 the next step is to make the equation equals to 0 so negative 3 will go to the other side with an opposite sign so we will write it as x squared plus 4x plus 3 equal to 0. Now we will factor this equation. We already know that two numbers whose product is 3 and whose sum is 4 are 1 and 3. 1 times 3 is 3 and 1 plus 3 is 4. So we will write it as x plus 1 times x plus 3 which equals to 0. The last step is to make both terms equals to 0. x plus 1 equals to 0 which means that x equals to negative 1 and x plus 3 equals to 0. 3 will go to the other side with an opposite sign, just like the 1. So we will get x, which equals to negative 3. So the solution set of this equation is the choice C, which is negative 1 and negative 3.